Hi, good morning. Uh, let's continue study uh, surface integrals. Uh, today's topic is about Stokes theorem. Uh, I think uh, the difficult part of this loop sections is to understand the surfaces and you know, how to yeah, find the parametric equation sometimes not given. Uh, let's let's first of all let's understand the uh, the surface integral. Okay, so if you have a you have a surface, okay, this is surface. First of all, just the surface, right? And then you have given a normal vector field. Just call a normal vector field. Normal vector field. So the length is always equal to it. Okay. Then uh, I have also have a, a, a I also have a vector fields over that. Okay, let's use a different color. You know, this is a vector field it could be in any direction. Okay, so this is F. Okay, so at every point, you can you can talk about the uh, uh, um, you can talk about the inner product, right? So the inner product uh, uh, gives you the function. Yeah, so it is a function on the surface. So you can talk about integral of this, okay? So it's double integral, okay, ds. ds is an uh, area element, right? We, we already, uh, there's some exercise for the integral function over the surface. Now, given vector field, you cannot just integral vector field. Actually, you, you, at every point, you get a function, which is a, which is a, a inner product of the vector field with the normal vector. Right. Now, how to compute it? Well, you can, to compute it, you have to have, um, uh, you have to have a, a, a parameterization for the surface, right? So this is a, a D, right? I think you can use a U and a V here. Uh, this is a domain D, okay? So map uh, uh, depends on two vector, two, two variables, U and V. And this is a point, okay? And a point here, this is a point here, a, U and a V, and this is a point in the space X, Y, Z. So sometimes, sometimes we are given x equals x u v y equals u y u v z equals z u v. Okay. So, uh, well, this is a vector variable function. So the normal vector uh, at the point, at that particular point, okay, is going to be is going to be the the so cross product of those two tangent vectors normalized, okay, right? And uh, the area element will be, will be this, okay? So DA is uh, on, on, on U, uh, on the domain D. So DA actually, if you use a uh, iterative integrals, it will be DU DV. All right, so uh, we put everything into the above integral, okay? So we will, uh, this is dot n, okay? So this can be also written dot ds, okay? So what is ds? ds, the notation is just a normal vector time and time ds, okay? That's a, uh, it's just a simple notation for that, okay? Uh, now, uh, now you can calculate if S, the surface, is the image of a D, okay? Uh, sometimes the surface cannot be covered by, by, by a domain in the space. But if, okay, if, uh, if S is, uh, if S is image, okay? of the domain D, right, just piece of it. Then you can change it to the double integral of the domain. So F here 
and uh, I evaluate at this point, okay? And uh, the product, the normal vector and the DS cancel. So actually you will get, you will get this, okay? Okay. All right. So if we, yeah, if the, you know, n, the number of time ds, those two canceled out actually is gonna be, gonna be this, a vector. Okay. So this is a formula we, we're using to calculate, uh, calculate the, the integral of the vector. Now there's a, 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 the meaning of this uh, integral in physics. Okay, this is a called, uh, yeah, this is a called uh, the flux of F across uh, S, okay? So it is called the flux of F across the surface S, okay? Now, if the vector field is always a perpendic, uh, is always a, 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 a special case, right? So if uh, if the vector field is always a, a tangent to, to the surface, okay, then this is going to be zero. The flux is going to be zero. So note, yeah, let's put a mark. Okay, in case it's always is tangent. To the surface, okay. Then, uh, then f dot this is going to be zero, right? Everywhere. So the surf this integral f ds will be zero, okay. Now that's the first remark. Second remark. If f is uh, is is uh, is uh, is a perpendicular to the surface. That's two special case. Perpendicular to the surface. Okay. Then and uh, uh, with the same direction. Okay. In the same direction as the normal vector. Then this this inner product is going to be you know right the length of f times the length of the normal vector times cosine theta because theta is, is going to be zero so this just is the length of the vector so this this integral okay is nothing but the integral of the length function. Uh, the lens uh, lens function of the vector field on the s okay if the if it's a unit of vector then this is going to be uh, uh, what so for example a simple example is uh, f x y z is going to be x y z okay right and uh, you don't need to waste the time to do the calculation right and the S is going to be the sphere. Okay, uh, was a normal vector pointed outside, outward, right? So this is a sphere. Okay, so uh, the, this is normal vector fixed normal vector. Okay, then as you can see that at a point uh, X. Y, Z at the sphere, right? This vector field, uh, this vector is actually, is a normal vector, right? It's a normal vector, right? Because there's a normal vector is also given by that. So therefore, uh, it's the same, right? So the inner product, yeah, this normal vector at that particular point. So it's a norm, uh, the inner product 
is always equal one. Okay. Therefore, the flux of the vector field, ds, is nothing but the integral one and the ds. And this is a surface area of the sphere. We know that four pi r square, so just equal four pi. Okay. So you don't need to find material then with so much time to evaluate. Okay, yeah, you don't need to waste so much time to evaluate. Another extreme case is, is the following, okay? So um, it's a, S is still sphere, X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared equals one, okay? okay. Uh, a vector field in the space is defined to be, uh, is defined to be, Negative y, x, and this, and uh, and this. Okay. Now, how do we describe this? How do we describe that? Well, it looks like that. Okay. So, uh, at every point. Okay, x, y, z. The vector actually is uh is a tangent to the circle around this uh yeah this is a vector okay tangent to the circle uh horizontal circle okay then uh <coughs> then if there's a normal vector here right so the normal vector at that part at a particular point is going to be still x, y, z, right? So the inner product, and clearly it's going to be negative y times x plus x times y, that's going to be zero. So, so, so the, uh, for this vector field, because it's always tangent to the sphere, if it's restricted to the sphere. So the, uh, the flux is always equal to, right? zero ds and that's going to be zero okay so those are two extreme cases uh this is about closed sphere okay closed surface okay now uh today i want to talk about very important theorem okay the very important theorem uh here's a called the stock theorem The stock theorem is that S to be positive oriented the piecewise smooth surface that is bounded by a simple closed curve. Okay, and um, was a positive orientation. So let's describe in this way. So this is a okay. So this is a, 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 a surface S. Okay, but it has a boundary. The boundary is always going that direction. So that means they match the orientation, okay? If you put the hands, uh, right hand, so it's going to be like that, okay? Yeah, rotate. So this is a picture, okay? I, uh, you know, the complete statement you can, can look at on the, in the book, okay? So this is about the surface and the curve boundary, the boundary is curve. So uh, this can be piecewise defined the surface, okay? It's not necessarily everywhere it's the smooth, but they should be connected. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is possible. You know, it is possible uh, like that. Okay, like a house, like a roof. So, so this can be something like that. It's possible. Okay, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the surface is, consists of four four pieces, uh, uh, small uh, small surface. So this is a C, it's a part, okay? If I just draw you a couple of pictures. Then, uh, then Stokes find out, Stokes find out if you have a vector field in the space, but that vector field should be special, okay? Okay. 
Right. This is a um, the integral. Yeah, the integral of the of the surf the vector field. Okay, this will be the curl of the vector field. Okay, okay, this is a given vector. Field. So another special vector field. That is a much, yeah, this and the, and the, and the surface integral can be changed to can be changed to the line integral along the curve. Okay, that would be a really surprised. Yeah, that was uh, discovered by by Stocks. That's what called the Stocks theorem. Uh, it is the proof is uh, is not simple. So we we're not going to prove it. I just want to look at a special case. The special case is the surface S uh, is just as a domain. In R two, because when you look at the domain in R two, right, uh, you will get this is surface also. You can view that as a surface, okay? Yeah, this can be viewed uh, as a surface in the three dimensional space, okay? So this will be something like that, okay? This is a this is an S which is just a D. Okay. And uh, so according to, so you have a vector field here, okay? You have a vector field here, F, which is going to be P and the Q, right? There's two components. But you can, the vector field can be extended to the space. Uh, this will P, Q, put it, Put another components here, right? So uh, let's uh, ex let me um, yeah let me explain to uh, how to yeah let's apply the stock theorem to to the surface to this surface, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, you know, if you really want to find the parameterization, the parameterization is the same, identical. R uh, x y is going to be x y z, for example, right? Yeah. All right. So let's compute the curl of the vector field. I j k and the uh, partial partial x partial partial y partial partial z. And the P Q Z. Uh, you were surprised. Uh, this will be zero I. That will be zero J. Okay. The third one is going to be Q X P sub Y and the K. Okay. So this is a um, yeah. This is a, a a vector perpendicular to the X Y plane. Now, of course, our uh, uh, this is oriented, right? This is C going that direction, okay, right? So the normal vector to the C, uh, to this surface S, is always equal to K, okay. Yeah. All right. So now the surface, the surface integral of the curl of the vector field. Uh, dot n ds right, is nothing but, oh, by the way, yeah, what is ds? ds is a volume element, uh, there's an area element because it is going to be, um, uh, yeah, so you can, because use this special parameterization, 
it can show that this is nothing just but the end. Okay. Yeah. So then uh, you will get, yeah, convert to the double integral, which is D. And this is just uh, the inner product, n dot that. It's just qx minus py dA. Okay. Now, this, according to the stock theorem, this is going to be f dot dR. Okay. And this is just a line integral, right? It's a line integral. It's a f is going to be p dot dx plus q dy. So this is nothing but the green, green theorem, okay, in dimension two. So stock theorem is, uh, is more general than green theorem. Green theorem is a special case, a surface, a flat surface in the XY plane, okay. So that's in the XY plane, okay. All right, uh, that's a special case. And now uh, uh, let's take a look at some uh, uh, other examples, uh, application of uh, stocks uh, there. Right, so here's a here's a here's an example. Okay, f x y z is going to be x square sine z and uh, y square and x y. Okay, okay. So what is s? S is uh, the part of the paraboloid. And that is given by z equals one minus x square minus y square, okay? The lines above the x, y plane, okay? And then we also have said that uh, orient, oriented uh, upward, right? So we want to evaluate This integral is called a, uh, yeah, this is a, a, the curl of a vector field in ds, okay? So this is actually the, the flex of, not the vector field, the, the modified vector field, the curl of the vector field, okay? Okay, uh, well, so let's draw the picture, the surface first. The surface looks like Yeah, paraboloid, it's up and downward, okay? Okay, this is a, this is a portion of the surface, okay? It's just like a ball covers a, a table, okay? All right, so we, uh, the vector field, it looks pretty strange. Okay. How do you solve this problem? Well, that's positive oriented, right? So that, be careful about orientation. So this, the boundary will be this, or will be circle, okay? It's oriented in that direction, okay? I have to match, those two orientation must be matched, okay? And uh, if you do the problem directly, it's so complicated, right? You have to find the parametrization for the paraboloid and, uh, and, uh, and then, and you find a, a dot product, okay? Find a normal vector. Now, if you really want to do that, okay, let me set, let me set up the, the surface integral, but you will see the integral will be uh, complicated, okay? So you, this is a graph, okay? So D <coughs> is going to be uh, X squared plus Y squared less than equal to one. So I have a map X and Y, right? X, Y, and uh, as a function is F of X, right? It's a graph. So, so F of X 
is going to be one minus, right? So uh, uh, the inner product, right? Okay, the inner product, if I remember correctly, okay, okay, this is a, this is a product, okay, so you will get and two uh, x, two y, and the one. All right, so this is a, a yeah. You have to compute that right first. <laughs> All right, so uh, double check. Yes, correct. Okay, so then uh, then you have to compute the curl of the vector field. Well, the curl of the vector field uh, is going to be. Yeah, the curl of the vector field is going to be i, j, k, you know. And this is a x square sine z. And this is y square. This is x times y. So let's compute it for an exercise, right? So this part, okay, the i part will be, here's x uh, minus zero, so just i. Then the G part, uh, this will be Y because it's a derivative and uh, minus X square cosine Z, K part. The K part, I think it's a zero. Okay, yeah, the cross part is zero. Okay, so this is a curve. So this integral curve of the vector field and and ds, right, can be converted to the double integral. I just converted, that's not even have to get evaluate. It's converted to the double integral of the vector field, okay? So the curve of the vector field that we already got here, it's x and the negative sign, so negative y plus x squared cosine z and zero. Now, what is our, our uh, this part, ds, right? This is uh, the, the cross product. 2x, 2y, and 1. And then the a, okay? So this is a, this is a part, the so rx cross r1, okay? All right, so the dot product. So now we can still get it, right? It's two times, it's 2x squared, and plus 2y, uh, and the y, my negative y plus x squared cosine z and the plus zero, so it's the n. So you have to evaluate this double integral and uh, it's not true, right? And you have to use the polar coordinates and you will see that it's very complicated, okay? Uh, to, to, to evaluate this double integral, Yes, we can evaluate this double integral. No problem. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, so for the surface, right? No, I think it's we have been trouble because uh, what is the z, right? On the surface, on the surface, okay. Uh, you evaluate this curve. So our z here, okay, I have a z here, right? So this z should be replaced by uh, where z is going to one minus x, y squared. So that was a problem here, right? And it's getting, yeah, it's very, getting pretty ugly function. Yeah, because the, 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 we have to get the value of the curl vector over the, over the surface. So at the point X, Y, Z, Z is already determined, it's one minus X or minus. So that is a, <laughs> yeah, that is a, a, a complicated integral. Now, if we buy, if we use a stock stem, okay, then this curve, this integral, yes, is going to be the line integral f dr. Okay. So you get the integral over uh, the 
over this uh, 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 circle, right? Okay, over this circle. So it would be much, much easier. So around this circle, we take a look at the vector field. Okay, x, y, when z is going to be zero, right? Restrict to that, right? When z is going to be zero, so that is going to be uh, the first term is zero, second term is y squared, the third term is zero, okay? Right? So uh, I think it would be much, much easier to, to get it. Okay. So you parameterize just as a R, right? As a curve, right? So this is a R, uh, R theta equals cosine theta sine theta, okay? Right? Now we, we uh, uh, in three dimension space, so you have put a zero here, the third component. All right, so R prime of theta is tangent vector, negative of sine theta, cosine theta, zero. Okay. Now F, evaluate that R theta, right? Is gonna be zero. Y is a sine squared. X is sine, a cosine theta, sine theta. So, then you uh, then you get the inner product from zero to two pi, right? That would be f dot r prime theta d theta, right? So just look at the inner product. The so inner product zero times zero is zero, and uh, and the sine square theta cosine theta. And last term times it's also zero, right? The last the product, the last two terms, it's gonna be zero. So that's the only uh, integral we have to deal with, it's so simple, right? And use a substitution, you can let u to be sine theta. So du equals cosine theta d theta. Right? So that is gonna be integral, uh, not too high. Integral uh wait a minute, it's gonna be zero, zero. Okay, when theta equals zero, u is zero. When theta equals two pi, u is also zero. So it's u squared du. It's zero. That's weird. Why it's a, why it's a, uh, how do you see why it's a zero? You know, you have sine squared there, but the cosine theta uh, uh, changes the sign of the function over the interval. So negative part, the positive part of the cancel out. Okay. That is a uh, that is a main reason. If you don't want to use a substitution, uh, you will get uh, the entire derivative of uh, one third uh, sine theta cube. Okay, when you differentiate, you will get sine square theta cosine theta. Right. So you can also you can also directly to evaluate this integral, right? And then clearly it's going to be zero. Okay, it's going to be zero. All right, wow. So the stop them is a, uh, is a, is a pretty powerful there. It's a generalized the green theory. Okay. It's to generalize the green theorem. All right, uh, let's take a look at another example. Here's another example. Okay. 
All right, so this time we have a uh, uh, eva yeah, evaluate uh, this uh, integral. Okay, so let me describe what is a vector field. The vector field is going to be xz here, yz, the third component xy. And uh, S is a part of the sphere, okay? Uh, this sphere has a rugged radius, okay? That lines inside the cylinder. x squared plus y squared equals one. And above the x, y plane. Because there will be two parts here. All right, so how did you have to sketch the graph? You know, that's always a question. And uh, something never draws a picture. Because you, the reason is that hey, you, you don't ask me to draw the picture. Why well, have to draw the picture? I just put the integral there, right? Now, the picture, okay, the figure, okay, is a part of your solution, okay? So, so you should try to draw the picture and the indicate, okay, the normal vector, something like that, okay? So the sphere, you draw the sphere, okay? This is standard way to draw the sphere. The so cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals one. In the cylinder is going passing through the uh, the sphere, so there will be two parts here. It's a portion of the sphere, okay? That lines inside the cylinder. That's two portion here. One is at the bottom, other one on top. One is the south pole, other one's north pole, right? So we are talking about uh, uh, the one above the x y plane. So this is a portion. All right, so the vector field is harder to draw. I'm not, I cannot draw the vector field. Okay, but I know the normal vector. The normal vector at every point is this normal vector, right? At the point x, y, z, if you want to really find the normal vector, that is going to be not just x, y, z. I think it's divided by two x, y, z, because uh, the length of that vector at that particular point is two. Because the sphere has a radius too. The sphere has a radius too. Okay? The sphere has a radius too. Okay. Uh, can you can you set up this integral? Okay, uh, right, so what do we can do? Now, should we use a parametrization to solve the problem? Okay, uh, first of all, let's find the curve, right? We have to find the curve anyway, the curve of the vector field. Okay, it's gonna be I, J, K, X, Z, Y, Z, and X, Y. Okay. So that is an original vector. We have to modify the vector, right? So let's calculate uh, the first one. Uh, that is going to be uh, X minus Y. And then that will be Y minus X. Yeah, plus, I think a zero there, 
Okay, so this is a uh, this is a vector. Uh, actually, it is going to be a uh, Right? So actually it's going to be um, tangent to the shear. So not necessarily tangent, but it's a horizontal vector field. Okay. So, so the normal vector, yeah. Yeah, let me double check. X minus y okay then negative that's y minus x okay so the two components are identical okay all right so let's let's uh, uh let's look at the the surface integral here and uh, this is a um this is a dot product right of the two as a normal vector okay the so dot product is going to be x times this okay so it'll be x times x minus y and uh, minus half y and plus yeah uh, y and y minus x okay now are we able to uh, simplify it? Okay, so actually this will be half of plus half of y, x minus y. So we have a common factor. So we get uh, uh, x minus y, x plus y. So half of x squared minus y squared. So that is a product at that point. So this surface integral okay, is just the integral of this function and over the surface. Okay. I think it's going to be zero. <laughs> I can see right now. Okay. So why without to use a stop step, why this going to be zero? This is going to be separate, okay, minus half of, okay. This is about surface integral on the surf, on this portion of the sphere. But X and Y are in equal position. So this integral of X square and the integral of Y square should have the same value, okay. That's my, uh, uh, that's what I'm thinking, here, right? So you can verify directly, use a, uh, how do you how do you evaluate the surface integral? Okay, uh, you have to use a, a spherical coordinate. Okay, then you change it to the W integral over the disk. Okay, and uh, and then you uh, then you you get a result. Okay, but since x square and y square they're in the equal position, they both are positive number. Okay, they should have the same value. I don't see you know x and y. X is important and Y, Y is important X. Okay, that's, that's my uh, uh, conjecture, okay? And you have to verify that directly by the composition. So now, uh, now by, by stock stem, okay? By stock stem, this, this integral uh, uh, N, T, S is gonna be the line integral Okay, this is C, okay, F dot DR, okay. All right. Okay, so I put a question mark here. How do I view, why, why I get this answer? Okay. All right, so we have to parameterize this, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, circle, okay. This circle will be parameterized, and I have to determine the third component. The first component called the theta, sine theta. What is a what is the third component in the space? Right. 
that means how high of the point, okay? You look at the sphere, okay? Look at the circle, actually. This is a, a cross section, the cylinder, right? So here's a two. That is a one. So the height of this will be uh, a square root of. Hmm? Uh, uh, this oh, this is going to be uh, the radius of the one, right? Yeah, the sphere has a radius, right? Yeah, let's take a look at this uh, point. The radius is, uh, yeah. So that would be square root of three, okay? That would be square root of three, the height. So the third component will be square root of three, okay? Yeah, it tells, you know, you want to describe the curve in the space, not uh, in the XY plane, okay? So F evaluate around this is going to be, what is my F? Right, it's going to be, uh, yeah, F is X times Z. So square root of three times this. And then second one uh, is going to be Y times Z. So sine theta square root of three. The third one is X times Y. So cosine theta sine theta. Right? And uh, and uh, R prime theta, that'll be negative sine theta, cosine theta zero. Okay. <coughs> so this integral is going to be the integral from zero to two pi f, and uh, R prime theta d theta. And this is actually the R, right? So the inner product is going to be square root of three, cosine theta, sine theta. And the sine theta, cosine theta, square root of three. And that's it. So clearly it's going to be zero because inside it's a zero. All right, so we got the, we got a, Yeah, we got the answer, right? It's a zero. Okay. Is a stock them many uh, the surface integral of the of the curl of the vector field, not the general vector field. It must be curl of the vector field. Okay. And uh, then uh, the integral will be in a curl of the vector field is not cannot be up. Not every vector field can be written as a curl of the vector. Okay, so here's my uh, remark. Not every vector field can be uh, expressed as a curve of the sum vector field V. Okay, okay. so it's not. Uh, yeah, some vector field, F. yeah, yeah, let's use F here, okay? If the vector field can be written in this form, right? Remember, uh, uh, this the divergence, okay? Look at the, uh, there's a book, uh, the divergence of the, of the curve should be zero, okay? If a, this is a necessary condition for a vector field being a curve that, of another vector field, okay? Then the divergence of that vector field is present that there are many vector fields, the divergence is not going to be zero. 
All right, uh, let's see. Uh, sometimes we have to go backward, okay? And, uh, and uh, instead of, uh, you know, so we are given the line integral and you're trying to use stock stem to evaluate the line integral, but then uh, make it much easier actually sometimes. Okay, so let's do problem number, uh, let's say problem number eight in the book, okay? So we are given the vector field Uh, uh, one x plus y z and x y minus square z. Okay. C is a is a boundary of the of the part of the plane. Three x plus two y plus z equals one. In in the first Obtained. Okay, it's pretty complicated, right? So let's look, draw the picture here. So the plane passing through, okay, so this is a curve C, okay? It's a rotate counter curve one. Okay, and, uh, and uh, I can even tell uh, what is the point here. The point here is at, when x, y, z is zero, it's a one third. And that point is one half, that point is one. Okay. So we want to evaluate, uh, we want to evaluate uh, this uh, line integral. Evaluate this line integral and F, yeah, dr. Okay. Now you think about this. Okay. You can do that directly. Okay. No problem. You parameterize the three pieces here, the C1, C2, C3. So you have to evaluate C1, right, over that, right? And the C2. Although uh, each of the integral may be simple, but you still have to evaluate three integrals separate. You cannot parameterize this, uh, uh, triangle, okay, directed by one simple function. The function must be piecewise defined. So uh, it's not easy, right? But uh, if you uh, convert it to uh, uh, a surface integral, maybe even a simpler, okay? So by stock theorem, this is going to be uh, the surface integral, of the curve of the vector field, and the and the ds. Okay, let's let's look at this. Okay. Then this probably will be much simpler. So can you compute the the curve of the vector field? Okay. Okay. I'll give you one minute to to set up the integral.
All right, so let's compute the curve of the vector field. Okay, uh, so we get I, J, K. Okay, this is going to be uh, the vector field to one, X plus Y, Z x y minus square of z okay All right, let's compute this uh, okay so i i assume you know how to compute so i just write down i look at these numbers okay i i put i here partial derivative with this again x and that's my y okay then the next one is going to be is y and minus zero so j plus and the one minus zero okay okay so that's what i got okay let's double check okay uh the determinant of that will be differentiate to get x and i guess y okay so i want to make sure the vector field is is uh is correct I don't want to make mistakes. Okay. <laughs> then the y component, you get a y here, and um, yes, All right. So that is correct. Okay. So that is a curve, right? And uh, and uh, I think even we can compute the the normal vector. Okay. The so normal vector is a uh, is a uh, it's easy to figure because it's a plane. For the plane, right? For the plane, you have a. For the plane, you have three x plus two y plus z equals one, right? So the normal vector will be uh, three, two, and the one normalize it. So it's nine plus four plus one. Okay, so that way it's going to be uh, uh, fourteen square fourteen. So, so this is normal vector actually. Okay, so you can. Uh, you can uh, 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 use that, or or doesn't matter. Uh, you can uh, you can use a parametrization. Let's try this. Okay, minus y and the uh, one. Okay, so this is the curve of the vector field. Now, for the triangle, right? For the triangle, you can view this. Uh, you can view it as a surface. Okay. Uh, so the uh, above uh, the graph of a function above the domain. So so z is going to be one minus three x to minus two y, okay? And uh, over uh, uh, over the domain, so uh, over the, the domain is a triangle, right? This is x and the y. <clears throat> this is a triangle, right? And uh, that's a graph over the domain, okay? So the triangle when z equals zero. This is going to be three x plus two y equals one. Okay, yeah, when z equals zero. Okay, this is a, I'm talking about this domain. Okay, so if you if you draw it in a two dimensional plane, you will get this. Okay, all right, let's try this. Okay, now. Uh, the next step, you have to find, uh, if you remember, uh, it's x, y, and uh, 1 minus 3x minus 2y, right? So actually, uh, we already know the standard formula, the partial derivative of x, so it's a 3, okay? Then it's 2 and the 1, okay? So this gives them, uh, yeah, this gives you the, the vector, okay? You can do the computation. So this will be negative x, negative y, and the one, okay? So it, this is f. So when you differentiate f, you can get a negative three. The negative negative three is positive three. And differentiate that function with respect to y, you get a negative two. So negative negative two is positive two. All right, now we are ready to evaluate this surface integral, okay? So it's x minus y, minus y, one, dot, three, two, one, and the dx. 
and uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, the yeah this is a curl of the vector field, and this is R x cos R y. Okay, so our uh, so the uh, this will be the domain D, so it's already on the domain D. Okay, okay. so this is uh, the product is three x minus y minus two y and plus one d a. Okay, let's simplify it. Three x minus two y, three y minus five y plus one d a. Okay, this becomes uh, the trip in uh, 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 the double integral of the triangle. Now, can you can you continue? We have a time, so can you finish that computation? This is going to be integral. Okay. So the so double integral, uh, the, uh, uh, we have to describe the three X plus two Y equals one, right? X axis, this is a D. How to, <coughs> how to uh, uh, evaluate this double integral? Well, uh, here's X is between zero and the one third. Y is between zero and the one half. So you can have us from zero to one third, that's dx. And the y is from zero to, you have to solve for y. So it's one minus three x divided by two. Three x minus five y plus one dy, okay? So you have to find the entire derivative of this function. Uh, with, with, with y variable, so it's going to be y minus five of a two y square evaluate at just two points. Yeah, it's a, it's not a, a, a it's not a simple, okay? So you get three x plus one times one minus three x minus two over five. Okay. But anyway, it's good the news it's a polynomial, right? How can I simplify it? Uh, quickly, okay. I have a common factor here. Probably do not just multiply that out. It takes a, it takes a common factor out, okay. If you take the common factor out, uh, uh, maybe it make it a little bit easier, okay. Then you do the computation. So, what common factor we should take it out? Uh, so we take. One minus two x over four. Uh, well, this is a yeah. It's a it's a fraction. Okay. I can take uh, eight take it eight out. So uh, we have a four three x plus one minus five one minus three x. Okay. Okay. Dx. Let's finish this. So here I get 12x plus four minus five plus 15x, right? So I get 27x plus minus one. Uh, well, it's really getting ugly right now. <laughs> All right, so, uh, well, it's a uh, 27x minus one minus three times 27x plus three x. Right. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I have an x square here. Yes. 
So it'll be negative 81 x squared plus 30 x minus one. Okay. okay, it's okay. We, we have the integral negative 81 x squared plus 30 x minus one dx. Then we write down the entire derivative uh, 27x cubed plus 15x squared minus x. Finally, I get, I get all right, then you simplify. Okay, so anyway, so this is a, but it's, you know, you can evaluate, okay. Uh, let's go back to the problem again and have a quick review, okay? So we uh, uh, so we try to evaluate the line integral, okay, around this uh, triangle in the space. And uh, this line integral, if we do that directly, you have to evaluate three integers. You have the parameter like each side of triangle, and you you end up with the three uh, line integrals, okay? And we decide not going to do that, so we change by the stock them, we change it to the surface integral because this uh, this three uh, sides of triangle, okay? Uh, actually, is the boundary of the triangle, okay? So the surface is uh, is a triangle. Bounded by the three sides. And then according to stock theorem, it can be the uh, the integral of the crew of the vector field. You have to modify the vector field, right? And ds. So we can create the uh, the vector field, okay? The curve of the vector field. It turns out to be the vector field itself, it looks, yeah, it's not difficult, okay? Then, uh, then the dot product was, uh, you know, you have to parameterize this triangle and if you view it as a graph of some function. The function is z equals one minus three x minus two y. So, so the r is, a, you know, for the standard graph, the r is going to be, uh, you know, this is r, right? It's a map, okay? It's going to be the first two components, just x, y, the third component is one minus three x minus two y. So that is a cross bar. Okay. All right. Uh, so the dot product will be uh, just, you know, the yeah, just do k creation carefully, you know, double check. And then uh, then I multiply them out, right? So it's three x minus two y and uh, one times so one so on. So you end up with a linear function, but this linear function over uh, Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, you know, let me put it here. S is a surface, is a triangle, the curve of the vector field dot uh, ds, okay? And then change it to the double integral over the d because the S, the triangle in the space is the image of that triangle in the two dimension plane, okay? So then you change it to the double integral and then then that's all you get here, double integral, okay? Uh, a, a function, okay? Uh, this is a linear function, the double integral of the triangle, <laughs> uh, uh, right? And then you use a, I don't think it's any other simple way to do it, just, just try and, change it to the iterative integral and evaluate the one by one. Doesn't matter which variable is first, the complicity is similar, okay? Now, if you do the computation carefully, you end up with answer uh, uh, like this, okay? You are not able to sim simplify further, okay? A little bit, 
Okay. So the first one is negative one. The second one is one over nine, so it's five over three minus one third. Okay. So that is going to be uh, plus four over three, right? Yeah. Then you get one third. Then one over twenty-four. That's a positive number. The answer, final answer looks okay if there's no computation mistakes. Okay. All right, uh, that's all what I want to talk about today. And uh, uh, as you can see that sometimes you get given a line integral and without the machine in stock theorem, but you have to look at that. If this line integral is too complicated, you know, it consists of like three, three, you know, the line, the curve is consists of three pieces or something. It's if that the curves uh, is a is a is a closed, then you may think about the applying stop them to change the line to go to a surface integral. Sometimes the surface is going to become much easier. Okay, and on the other hand, if uh, if uh, if you are trying to evaluate the curve of the vector field of the surface, then the first thing you have to think about is should I use a stop them because usually we only ask you to evaluate the the, the, the integral of the vector field of a surface, right? The vector field is a, is a curve of another vector field. More likely, we are going to ask you to use a stock term to convert the surface integral to a line integral, okay? So both direction. 